Kid Leroy. Yeah. Him and Juice met when Juice World was on tour in Australia? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So Leroy is from Waterloo, Sydney, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at 10 years old, he decided to pursue music. Right around the time his uncle got murdered. Right. You guys have talked about the situation? Yeah. I guess his dad wasn't really around and his uncle was the one that was like pushing him to do music and, you know, while he was out in the streets mm -hmm. telling him not to follow his footsteps. Yeah. And then when his uncle got murdered, that's when he was like, all right, now I'm going to start taking it seriously. Yeah. Um, you know, at 14, he had his first EP called 14 with a Dream. This was yeah. way before you met him. Yeah. Uh, and then, I guess he was a finalist on some some competition in, in Australia. Yeah. And by the time you met him, was he like a star in Australia or just sort of an underground kind of artist? I think it was underground. Like, he had about 15 to 20, 15 maybe, thousand followers. Okay, not a lot. But I think that's that's good for Australia, I think. Well, for Australia, yeah. Well, uh, well, was he opening up for Juice World or on um, tour or what happened? I don't remember. I think. Were you there in Australia? Nah, no. He, like I said, I didn't go. You don't, you don't go I didn't go to the shows. Like okay. That. But allegedly they met in Australia. <laughs> well, this is what happened, but okay. I got to tell you. I'm in the office with one of my homies, and they played me five seconds of this song <laughs> of of Kid Leroy. So it's this song called Blessings, and he, like it, it's in the hook. He was like, um, "I wake up and count my blessings," but then the second half of the hook, he switched the flow, and he I've been on the low, 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 and I when I once I heard that, I'm like. Oh, I need this kid. Like I'm like for like I just I don't know. I I know music, and I know how hard it is to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So once I heard him do that shit, and they say he's 15, I'm like, bro, this kid could do. He like he could do it. Like like you know how when I first heard Juice, I knew I knew what it was. But when once I, if you could switch like flows like that in a hook. You could do, like, bro, you, like, I just knew. <laughs> right. But just to be fair, white rappers from Australia have kind of a mixed bag when it comes to U.S. success. Yeah. Iggy Azalea. Right? Yeah. That's the last Australian rapper that has crossed over into a U.S. market. And, I mean, she's had success, of course, but it's, you know, I mean. Yeah. Did, didn't quite go according to plan. Yeah. In terms of in terms of her being a a major major artist, uh, so you have this white kid from Australia who sings and raps. What made you say, okay, I'm actually going to put my resources behind this? Once I heard him switch that flow, that, that's it. That 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 little moment convinced you completely. Completely, I just okay. knew. I know how hard that is to do. I I I've been rapping for a minute. I can't do that shit, Vlad. <laughs> so once I heard this little kid do that, I said, "This is the one." That's the one. <laughs> okay, and I guess it took you a year to try to sign him. Yeah. So what? You reached out, or talked to his mother or something? Yep, yep. <laughs> With the moms, like you know, like you know, it's hard to get somebody to. Trust you, you know what I'm saying? Well, I tell I told my people, whatever these people want, give it to like I'm giving it to them, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever they want. Like I just knew what it was. So I had my 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 homie calling them every other day, like, man, I'm like, bro, tell them this. That's not enough. Go up, tell them this. But then I found out he was already signed to a Sony deal. Huh. Okay. He wasn't telling you this. Um, they they told me that eventually. You eventually, know? okay. So so what happened to get him out of that Sony deal? Um, uh, he couldn't get out. Is either he would have had to wait it out or sign with a Sony label? So I meet with, with my lawyer and tell him like, man, look, I need this kid. Whatever you got to do, get me this kid. 
So he like, oh, if he's in the Sony deal, well, you could probably try to partner with Sony or da da da. So I'm like, Vlad. I mean, I mean, I told my lawyer like, man, I need this kid. Whatever I gotta do. So, so we at the polo lounge, and the the president of Sony walked through the door. He like, oh, you you can do it with him. Hey, Ron, check it out. So they like, baby has an artist that's um in a development deal and da da da. Man, y'all should partner on you, but you know, nobody heard of this kid yet. So, shit, you know, we flew him out and we, we did it. We signed him to Columbia. Yeah. Which is under Sony. Yeah. But it's under your label. Yeah. Okay. Well, me and me and Columbia partner. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. 